Hi everybody, welcome back to week three of Unbox, where we are unpacking the gifts from God. The gifts that we get from God, oh, that he gives us. So we have talked about how uh, God has gifts for us, and they're spiritual gifts, and everybody has special gifts that God gives them. Then we talked about how God helps other people with my gifts. He takes my gifts and helps me to do good things that will help others. This week, we're going to talk about blessings. Now, what is a blessing? And how are my blessings gifts? Hmm. Because blessings are also gifts that God gives us. So, blessings are things that God gives us and they help us to do the things that God wants us to do, right? So when you say, I have a good, big blessing, it's something that God has given you to help you do something or help you get through something or help you with all kinds of things. Blessing is something that God gives out of kindness. It doesn't have, God doesn't have to give us these blessings, but God chooses to give it to us as a gift. And sometimes blessing is something that you need for right now, or something that you might use later or for the rest of your life. So blessings make us feel loved by God. And there's a place in the Bible where Jesus talks about how people are blessed and what happens to them. And we call it the Beatitudes, okay? So, blessings are gifts that God gives to us. It's not necessarily something like the jobs, the spiritual gifts that God gives us, but these are things that help our jobs be easier. So today I'm going to read from the New International Reader's Version, the N-I-R-V, because I like this version best when I'm reading the Beatitudes. And this is from um, Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. Okay? So, ready? And this is, these are words from Jesus. Jesus was preaching when he said these words, okay? And it said, Jesus saw the crowds, and he went up on a mountainside and sat down and his disciples came to him and he began to teach so he kind of went up to a higher point so he could see people and they could hear him better okay and he said blessed are those who are spiritually needy who need things on the inside the kingdom of heaven belongs to them blessed are those who are sad and feel bad about the bad things that are happening because they will be comforted. Blessed are those who are free of pride, who are humble, who are meek. They will be given the earth. Blessed are those who are hungry and thirsty for what is right. They will be filled. Blessed are those who show mercy. They will be shown mercy. Blessed are those who whose hearts are pure, they will see God. Blessed are those who make peace, they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who suffer for doing what is right, the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Blessed are you when people make fun of you and hurt you because of me. You are also blessed when they tell all kinds of lies about you because of me. Be joyful and glad. Your reward in heaven is great. In the same way, people hurt the prophets who lived long ago. All right, so what is all this about? What are all these things? Let's talk about sad people and humble people. What does all this stuff mean? Okay, so what it's saying is when you are in a place and a feeling and just things are going your way and maybe you just don't feel like you have enough inside of you, God's gonna give you something to 
to make you feel that you're enough because you already are enough. God created you. He gave you gifts. He gave you life. He gave you all of these things and you're following him. So that's it. That's the most. But when sometimes we feel like things aren't going well, God will give us these things to help us know that we are enough and follow God each and every day. Okay, so when we say, blessed are those who are spiritually needy or poor in spirit, it means that their hearts aren't too full of feeling good about themselves just because they think they're too great, like they can never do anything wrong. And it means that they're humble, that they're not going to think that they're more important than anybody else, okay? It says, to be poor in spirit means to be humble and to give God the credit for what the things that are good, okay? And so it says, hmm? The kingdom of heaven belongs to these people. So when you feel like you don't have enough here, God always makes sure that you have enough in your heart and in heaven. Okay? And I'm going to talk about this. Blessed are those who feel sad or mourn. And sometimes when we hear the word mourn, it's not like the mourning. It's like when somebody's died and they're sad, people mourn. It's like when something is lost and they, they feel empty and sad but sometimes it's not just about somebody who's died or something like that it can be when you realize that you've messed up and maybe you lost out on an opportunity to do something fun or you lost trust from one of your friends they don't trust you anymore or you've just lost something and you just feel empty and sad and God said blessed are those who are sad and mourn they will be comforted. God has comfort for you when you feel like you're not enough. So no matter what, all of these things, if you're meek, it means that you count on God's strength and not your own. When you're freed of pride, it means that you're not counting on yourself to figure things out. You're counting on God to figure it out. And if you're counting on God to give, figure it out, then God's going to give you the earth. It says in the King James Version, it says they will inherit the earth. So all of these good things that God is going to have for us at the end of time, we're going to get that stuff because we're not putting our hearts first. We're putting God's heart first. Okay? It says people who hunger and thirst for righteousness or for what is right are the people who stand up for what is right. And the people who stand up for what is right will be filled with all of these blessings all of God's love and all of God's power because your focus is on doing the right thing. And if your focus on, is on doing the right thing, then you're probably focused on God because he always does the right thing. Okay? It says, being merciful is about forgiving others and having compassion. It's when you don't just feel bad for somebody, but you want to help them be better. Not just like, oh no. I'm so sad that this kid fell down. It's not about that. It's about I'm going to make sure that my friends are taken care of and that they have what they need. And if I have something that will help them, then I'm going to do my best to help that person. Okay? So it says, if you do that for the others, that will happen to you. It says, those whose hearts are pure are people who are selfless and when they do good things they're not thinking like oh if I do this good stuff it's gonna make me look really good you're just doing good stuff because you want to do it and so if you do that and you have your pure heart then you will see God working you will be able to see when God is working because you're not looking to make yourself look good you're only doing what God wants you to do, and you know that that's going to make you look good anyway, but that's not why you're doing it. You're not doing it to look good for yourself. And it says, blessed are those who are the peacemakers, people that make peace. They get along with others, and they help other people get along too. You're children of God if you do that. God came 
to help us have peace here on earth. So if you help share peace, then you're one of the children of God. And it says, anybody who suffers, who has bad days, people make fun of them, people are mean to them because they love Jesus. Mm. The kingdom of heaven belongs to you. It says your reward in heaven is great. So even if you get bad stuff here, maybe people don't treat you nice here or make fun of you or say silly things like, oh, they always go to church. They can't do that on Sunday or Wednesday or whatever. You're going to get much better stuff from God anyway. You don't want to worry about these people whose love for you can come and go like the wind. No, you want love from God. His blessings, his promises, all of these great things that God has given us. So, now when you think of blessings, these might not be of the first things that you thought about when you think of blessings, but Jesus is teaching us that when we show these things, then we're going to be blessed and have even more blessings, and then we can show more good things, and then we're going to get more blessings, but not only that, other people will start to get blessed, because if you're walking around with all of these blessings, it can't help but spill out into other people's lives, okay? So, even though sometimes we feel sad or lonely, God will see our heart, hearts and bless us the whole long way through. All right, so let's see what it says in our bonus verse, our extra verse. I always like that they give us another verse to kind of like, give you some more clues about what's going on so this is from james chapter 1 verse 17. this is a good one you've probably heard this before it says every good and perfect gift is from god it comes from the father he created the heaven the sun and the earth he does not change like shadows that move so if God's going to give you good things today, he's not going to change his mind and give you not good things tomorrow or just forget about you. No, God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never change, never changes. And all good things. Every good thing, every good thing. We sang that. I don't know if you remember it. Every good thing, every good thing, every good and perfect gift comes from God. Why? Because he loves us. He wants us to have good things because he wants us to follow him. That's all he wants. He created us. He gave us choices. But what he really wants us to do in the end is to choose to do good things because we love him and he loves us. That's it. Sometimes it can sound a little tricky. Like if you get people that make fun of you or if you're feeling bad or sad or any of these things that we talked about today. But if we remember that we put God first and try to sh share our lives with God and when we're having a bad day or a mad day or a sad day to put God first in that, then we're going to get these blessings. And these blessings will fill us up with all of the good stuff that God has. And he'll help us to remember the gifts that God has given us so that we can do these big jobs that God has for us. Isn't that great? I think that's pretty great. All right, my friends, let us do our Bible memory verse from 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. And it says, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. It's up here. Now we're gonna do the sign language. And remember, if you wanna practice the sign language, I made sign language videos so you can practice them each and every week, or every day, or ever whenever you wanna do it, okay? So let's break it down. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. Now, I know that was, I, I did it a little slow, but if, like I said, there's a whole video where I break it down step by step. So let's chunk it up again. 
each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. And that's 1 Peter 4.10. So each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. You got it? Okay. Let's keep practicing. You can get it. I promise. I learned this in just like 10 minutes a day. So I think you can do it. I think you can do it. All right, my friends, before we go, we have to pray. We don't have to pray. We want to pray. Why? Because prayer is one of the blessings that we get from God too. It's a way that we can connect and talk to God all the time. Not just when we bow our heads and close our eyes. Any time that you want to say, thank you, Jesus, or God help me or anything. God will hear us no matter what. All right, let's bow our heads. Let's say a prayer. Any of the things you want to say thankful, thank you for, hold it in your heart. Any of the things that you want to say I need help with, hold it in your heart. Any, any other people that you're praying for, hold it in your heart because God hears us every time we pray. All right, let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you so much for all of these wonderful blessings that you give us. You always want to fill us up no matter what's going on here in the earth, you always have all of these blessings ready for us. Mercy and joy and fill, being filled with your spirit. God, you have all of these wonderful things waiting for us. All we have to do is follow you and ask for these blessings and you'll just give them to us. That's all we gotta do. God, thank you so much for all of these children and their family and all of the people that are listening, God, you hear what they are praying for, the needs that they have, the thank yous that they have, all of the things that they need your help with, God, you hear them and you are just waiting for us to ask for you to come and help us in whatever we do. Help us to use the gifts that you've given us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, my friends, thank you so much for being with me this week. We've got two more weeks of Unboxed. So what kind of gifts are we going to get next week? I don't know. You have to wait and see. Bye.